Good morning, it's Saturday, and look what we have here. I slept in, it's 10 a.m., we have a busy day ahead of us. Heading to the gym to train upper body and core, getting a haircut. We've got a threshold swim, and then a brick, a race pace ride into a 15 minute run. First things first, we're gonna eat, hydrate, meditate, stretch, write our goals down, and get started. Here we've got turkey bacon with egg whites, coffee, greens we're gonna use some no sugar added ketchup on top of there and i'm about to have toast with peanut butter as well pre-workout meal part two toast with the apricot jam still working on this coffee we're gonna stretch after this and then head to the gym in about 20 minutes It's 11.30, we're gonna head to the gym now. It's about a 45 minute drive and I've been using a lot of gas making these trips. Shouldn't have canceled that Tesla. We just got back from the haircut, showered up. Now time to head for the swim. We got about 2,500 meters, some aggressive threshold swim paces. It's 3.30, I'm just having a protein shake with fruit in it. And the protein I'm having is Fruit Loop flavor. That's right, it tastes really good with the like peaches, strawberry, you know, frozen fruit kind of thing. So I'm having that and then I'm gonna go ahead to go swim. After the swim, we're gonna shower up again, eat, let that digest, then we have a brick sesh. Swim all done, so funny. There was like a little party going on, 10 people, they were drinking and hanging out, smoking, and I was swimming, they're asking me to take a shot. I'm like, man, maybe after the swim, let me finish my swim first. They're asking me about all the race, all hyped up, you know? And then uh, I finished my swim and they asked me to take a shot, I took a shot, and they wanted me to stay and chill. I'm like, nah, I gotta, like, I gotta do a brick session, I gotta bike for two hours, and then I gotta run for, like 15 minutes after and they respected it. They respected it. It was, it was just funny. So it took a shot, rum. We're gonna go home, eat something. Just cooking up some haddock, lots of it. High protein, we're gonna add some of my rice to it. I was looking online and I saw these nuts cream. It's anti-chafe cream. You know where you put it, you know what? It's for the saddle sores. When you're riding the bike, no chafing. For the brick sesh, we're gonna be putting three scoops of scratch in each water bottle because we're gonna be out there for a total of two hours. So it's 60 grams of carbs in one bottle with electrolytes and 60 grams of carbs in the other bottle with electrolytes. Just got in from the ride, it's dark. It was a really enjoyable ride other than the hard efforts.
Just watching the sunset as I was riding, it gave me some good vibes. With the music that I was playing, I had some good songs playing. I did to do uh, about a 40, 45 minutes at around 150, 160 watts as a warm up. Then two by 15 minutes at 250 watts with five minute recovery in between. The first one was hell and I didn't think I'd be able to complete the second one. And then the second one was actually easier than the first one. But once the legs were waking up, it's been a long time since my legs held that high watts for that long. So felt good. Total duration was an hour and 45 minutes, 49 kilometers and average 181 watts. On to the last session of the day now. We're doing 15 minutes fast off the bike. Well, five minutes fast, then 10 minutes slow. So around four minutes per kilometer for five minutes and then five minutes per kilometer for 10 minutes. And then we are done. Okay, we made it. Five minutes fast at 350 per kilometer and then 10 minutes slow at five minutes per kilometer. Finish that up, got a nice sweat going. We're gonna shower, have a nice meal. It's late, it's 9.43. This is like the latest I've ever trained. Usually I sleep right now, but uh, we're gonna be up later, that's for sure. Might be going to the beach tomorrow, but we have to do a big long swim in the morning first. Feeling good though, after four and a half hours of training, feel pretty good, just need to stretch now. That was all footage from Saturday, July 3rd. It is now July 8th, I need to catch you up. I've been behind on editing. I didn't film more footage because I was catching up with business work as well as keeping up with all the training. The biggest factor was training has gotten heavy this week and it was really weighing on me and all. all you know, these are all excuses, but I started to you know, slack off on the, the videoing and the recording because I was just trying to have enough energy for my clients, for my business, and my training. No more excuses, let's catch you up. The next day, Sunday, we did a endurance run holding about 4.55 per kilometer for 13 kilometers. It was a 65 minute run, so an hour and five minutes. And that run was very challenging. You know, I did end up going to the beach that day. Beach was packed, it was fun. Came back at night and ran that, and it was, it was brutal. It was very hot, very humid, but we got it done. On the Monday, the next day we had a recovery ride. It was nice and easy, that was the only training session. Then Tuesday we did a, a speed endurance workout in the morning, it was about 2,400 meters total. And that was a tough session. I'll be honest, that was a tough session. Then we did upper body and core, and that was longer than we were supposed to do it. And it being a two hour workout, we did a lot of core. I did it with a friend of mine, and uh, it was awesome. Then I did a pyramid workout, and we crushed that. Again, that was also in some real heat. I guess I'm just not used to the heat because it felt a lot more challenging. But again, this is the third session of the day. So that's all on Tuesday, July 6th. Three sessions, the pool, swim, two hour weights and core, and then a pyramid workout, which ended up being like going fast at 4.30 per, per kilometer for five minutes, four minutes, and then bring it back to 5.30 per kilometer to 5.50 per kilometer for a few minutes. It was back and forth, kind of like that. Ended up being a total of about 13 kilometers in just over an hour. Wednesday, I took an impromptu rest day. It was supposed to be a threshold swim workout, and I just scratched the swim workout. I was just done. I was so tall, I couldn't even think straight. So I needed that, and I slept in. And that brings us to today, which is July 8th. I woke up feeling fantastic. The impromptu rest day yesterday combined with extra sleep was amazing for me. And today we had a bike session, a few minutes at a moderate watts, around 200 watts, into a few minutes at high watts, which is 250 watts. And we did a bunch of repeats of that. Ended up being about an hour and 15 minutes into a 20 minute run. I ended up extending the run a little bit to a 5K run. So I did about two and a half kilometers fast at just under four minutes per kilometer. And then the other two and a half kilometers slower at about 450, 455 per kilometer. Average pace is around 422 per kilometer over the 5K. And we did the 5K in under 22 minutes, which is kind of what I wanted to do. Then we did a leg workout and I purposely saved the leg workout for the end. And I just got in from that leg session. It's now 9.30 PM, end of the night. I ate a post-workout meal, stretched after legs, and we're just gonna wind down. I'm gonna read before bed, sleep around 10, wake up, train some clients, and I don't have to do too much work tomorrow. And tomorrow's also a rest day. So I don't, know, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with myself tomorrow. I'm not gonna have so much time. <laughs> but uh, we got a big weekend coming up of training. So I'm gonna record all this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, and then I'll pump out that vlog to you guys Sunday night or Monday at the latest. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more triathlon training videos just like this one, portfolio updates and stock tips, and I'll see you in the next video.